Hey, it's Gunsmith Beard back with another gun video for Gun Talk. It's really good to see you guys as always, and I really appreciate all that you've done in growing this channel to what it is. Um, I could not do this without you. So a big thank you to you guys. If you're new to the channel, as always, welcome. I hope you love the content and you keep coming back each week. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel because it helps grow the channel and also helps uh, with the algorithm pushing it out to more and more people. So um, the 2A community will grow more and more and it's because of your help. A uh, big thank you to our channel supporters which are Brown Owls, Swamp Fox Optics, and Shooter Innovations. And without further delay, let's take a look at the gun of the week and we'll come back in just a few seconds and talk about it. See you soon. All right, guys and girls, let's take a close look at this CZ Scorpion. And so, uh, full disclaimer, this is not the first CZ Scorpion that I've ever had. Um, the first one that I had was the CZ Scorpion Carbine Evo 3, and that was the one that had a 16.1 inch barrel, but it had a mock suppressor on the end. And yes, I understand the barrel was threaded for one half by 28 TPI, but you'd have to take off basically a, a barrel shroud um, to utilize the threads. And so if you put a suppressor on that, you'd have a, at least at least a one and a half inch diameter can with a skinny little barrel uh, that was stainless, it would look terrible. So I ended up selling it because I knew that I wanted to get into suppressors and I have, I'm just, all my suppressors are in suppressor jail, if you know what I mean. And so I'm waiting for the approval letters. Um, but I wanted to get another Scorpion, not the one I had. I wanted to get something, in my opinion, <clears throat> that would work better with suppressors. And so what I have in the box is actually the new Scorpion 3 Micro Plus. And so um, it is supposed to be like the Gen 2, the better version of what the Evo 3s were. So this is the box you get. You don't get a soft case or anything fancy with this. Um, but to be honest, under uh, $900 in that $800 range, I think it's kind of worth it not to get the thrills and pay $1,100 or $1,200 for uh, a, basically a soft case and a little bit better presentation. So... Needless to say, I could live without the thrills because I just wanted essentially the gun because we're going to do a part two video on this with some parts added so you guys can see what or what the potential is once you add the parts. But anyway, there'll probably be a lot of parts if I'm being honest. Um, but let's open the box. And inside the box, you have... This little foam with the uh, user manual or operating manual, instruction manual, whatever. <laughs> That's what's inside the box on the, the top cover. And then I'm gonna swing this around. So that's gone. And what she really came for is, here it is. And real quick, we'll do a safety inspection. There's nothing in the chamber. Breach is open. So I'm gonna let this go. Um, you get two of these new 20 round magazines. And so I ordered some older magazines, but I've heard that they may not work. And I'll have to let you know in the part two video, I've heard a lot of YouTubers say they don't work without modification. So I really 
don't know if that's true or not because I haven't had the chance to try the Gen 1 mags in a Gen 2 firearm. But you do get these little short 20 round magazines. I definitely would rather have a 30, um, especially if I can make the old ones work with the Gen 2. Even if I have to do some inletting or have to cut it a little bit so it works well. But this is such a, a little tight, tiny little package. Um, and it's not terribly heavy. I mean, it, it is a legitimate firearm. So you have, it is a firearm. So, I mean, it's, it does have some weight to it, but it's not super, super heavy. Um, on the side, they even have this, the CZ Scorpion 3 Plus. See if my camera will pick that up. On the other side, it has the maker mark saying CZ USA, Kansas City, Kansas. If you want to see that too. Uh, the end plate, I know a lot of guys are going to ask. Uh, the end plates for these are set up for QD sling mounts instead of a 1913 adapter. And spoiler alert, in our Gen 2, we are 100% going to put a 1913 adapter on this so we can actually run a brace or a stock. Um, now that braces are more friendly to own and uh, ATF uh, hasn't figured out a way to make them illegal again, um, then a lot of people are running braces, to be honest with you. So uh, that might be something we have to look at. Um, it does have this little vertical grip or hand stop really is what it is to keep your hand from moving too far forward and blowing off the digits. Um, I do know for a fact that the iron sights on the Gen 2s or the Plus series are a lot better um, than the Gen 1s because I used to have a Gen 1 and they weren't the best in the world. I ended up taking them off and putting something else on there because I just did not like them. Um, the charging handle has the HK slap feature. So um, it's just, I don't know why this is supposed to be like the new improved version of the Evo 3s, but they still have this tiny little charging handle. And I get it, um, to, if they're trying to keep it all tight and close for like concealed carry or like deployment or whatever, um, you want a shorter charging handle or standard charging handle. But uh, most of the guys, this is gonna be a fun gun or a truck gun or something like that. And so a larger, longer charging handle would, would have been way better. So you can see how short that is. Um, it's still operational. Like I can thumb over or I can do a flap and it does absolutely what you would think it would do. Um, a really nice little setup here. I do like that they got rid of the cheese grater hand guards. Um, they have a little bit of texture up front, but it's not overly uh, aggressive. It does have your M-Lock slots on the sides and one on the bottom. So if you ever did want to not put a brace, you want to go full stock and get your uh, Form 1 and turn it into a short barreled rifle, then you could run a vertical grip on your SBR and that would be perfectly legal. Um, but you would have to SBR it, I think, to do that. You can run some vertical style, like this hand stop, kind of deal or an angled uh, vertical grip and that's acceptable according to ATF until they change that uh, but there are some cool features so the blast can which is what this little muscle device is on the end these are really nice I like them in carbines especially uh, pistol caliber carbines because they direct all the flash out forward um, they you don't get blasted in the face with flash so it all funnels out the tube um, you would think it would make it louder, but it doesn't. Um, actually swapping this out for a brake and running a brake um, would actually be a, a lot louder. And so I love that they went with a blast can uh, for the guys that aren't gonna run suppressors or uh, if they do run suppressors and then for whatever reason, they wanna take the can off of this setup and then just run the blast can. I think you have two really good options. Um, excuse me. So, Keeping the blast can on here, I think, is perfectly fine. A lot of my carbine AR builds 
and pistol calibers have blast cans and I really really enjoy them and they're they work exactly as you would think they would a um, little bit different frame on the on the the plus series or the gen 2s um, it kind of has a skeleton style feel um, the way the texture is it is polymer it's not aluminum uh, so they shaved a lot of weight um, on this build by keeping some of or most of the parts to be honest polymer they got rid of the the ridiculous pistol grip that everybody hated on the gen ones so you can see it's not ridiculously angled back um, i think i still have that grip and i just don't like it um underneath the grip is a i think a picatinny rail so you can adjust the forward and rear motion of the actual grip itself which is still really cool i know the gen ones you could do that also but they kept that feature which a lot of guys liked they did change uh, the toggles so they're a little easier to use um the toggles on the gen ones were terrible um this one is a lot uh, a lot better to operate with your thumb um, they have the mag releases it is an AR-15 style mag release So you guys can see that So they did change that which I don't know if I love that or not um, the bolt release is here now and The mag release is an AR-15 style mag release uh, guard. I got really used to that. I shot thousands of rounds through mine CZ Scorpion Evo 3 carbine and I absolutely love that gun. I just didn't like that I couldn't run a can on it without it looking ridiculous or having to chop the barrel, crown it, rethread it, and then end up running an SBR anyway when if I'm gonna do that, why not just run something shorter like this? So there was a lot of cons and that's kind of why I went with something like this because it is a very compact package um, and I really, really like it. I really, really enjoy it. So I can't wait to put some extra parts on this um, so you guys can see it again you guys will get if you order this especially from Brownells you will get two of the 20 magazines um, in the box unless you're in one of those communist states where you can't have it they may not have a 10 round uh, version for you I don't know um, to be honest if they have one or not i know the one i ordered i couldn't get a 30 round magazine i only had to get these 20s and that's not the end of the world but it's also a 20 round instead of 30 round and i like the 30s because i like to hold on to the mag uh, when i shoot i'm just a creature of habit um, i didn't i always kind of held on on the front of the magazine when i shoot um and then this C grip stuff came later. I can shoot that way, but I'm just not super familiar and didn't have the reps in. I have a lot of people do on C grip. But you still get the really nice uh, cleaning kit for nine millimeter for your CZ Scorpion. Um, I love this. This was a cool feature that they add in their um, carbines or rifles and stuff like that. They have their little cleaning kit with molly straps on the back if you're curious so in my opinion this is an awesome gun it's under a thousand dollars you get a lot of bang for your buck they're super reliable um you have to use the scorpion mag so you can't use Glock mags you can't use um ruger or anything like that it has it's proprietary to cz so you have to get these mags but what i say is they're not terribly expensive um and if they'll start making Gen 2s if the Gen 1s don't work, then they'll be very affordable and it won't be a big deal to order a bunch of magazines. Right now, if the Gen 2 thing is true, then it's gonna kind of stink to only have to buy them from CZ. Not, not to say CZ mags are bad, but they are a little bit more expensive than aftermarket. And it's one of the few things that I will say with CZ Scorpions, the aftermarket mags and the factory mags ran about as reliable. I never really had any trouble with uh, Magpul version or um, I can't remember the other brand that I used, but I ran all the aftermarket stuff and I never had a problem. I never really could tell which one was which because they all were super reliable and they always worked. So 
um, that's always a plus for the CZ Scorpion series. So I'm really excited. I wanted to get some parts on this and show you, but um, as you know, uh, we have an optic that most likely will go on this and I'll show you that. We'll kind of talk about that. And then we also have some parts that are gonna go on it that were supposed to come this weekend, but they didn't, they're gonna be here Monday. So um, there's some cool things coming on the second part of this video. So I hope you guys like this. Um, I hope you guys will stick around for the Gen 2 where we start adding some parts um, and we'll talk about it more in depth then too. Uh, again, we just got this. I was waiting for some parts and they just didn't come. Um, but I still wanted to do a video and show you like, here's the new CZ uh, 3 Micro Plus. It's a mouthful, I know it. But um, I really like it. I think they made a lot of improvements. They listened to the feedback from a lot of the, the shooters that shot the CZ Scorpions and they, they acted on it. A lot of companies don't. They're like, I don't care. Our name is more prestigious. We don't care what the customer says. So CZ didn't do that. And I know CZ is really good about listening to customer feedback, which is always awesome because some companies get so big, they they just don't care. And um, I don't ever, I've I never ever felt that from CZ. Um, so I'm really excited to have their Scorpion series. Um, they have some really cool guns. I'm getting into their handguns. I know you guys are like, get more CZ pistols. And we will be, I promise you that. So um, we definitely will, um, with the help of our sponsors, we'll be getting more and more CZ pistols to put on the channel and, and shoot and stuff like that. So as always, it's really good to see you guys. I love having these sit downs where we get to talk about guns and kind of show you the new gun or the new scope or whatever it is and having that opportunity to kind of just relax and rewind and talk about guns. So um, as always, I'll catch you in the next video and don't forget, work hard, God first. See ya.